Hello, I'm Matt Gillard, and welcome to another edition of Capital Corner, your weekly update on what's happening in Lansing around early childhood issues. While the legislature spent another week in Lansing without a lot going on, uh, they seem to be in a holding pattern as everybody's waiting to, in anticipation of the governor's budget release on February 9th. There does seem to be growing conversations about what to do with some of the surplus monies that were revealed in the Consensus Revenue Estimating Conference a couple weeks ago. On a side note, please check out the Sandbox Party where there's a, a fun game to play uh, asking you what you would do and what priorities you would make with spending the state's sur newfound surplus that was revealed at the Consensus Revenue Estimating Conference. It's www.sandboxparty.org. Uh, so check that out if you have time. There are a number of groups, as you can imagine, stepping up with ideas on what the governor should focus on in his budget or what the state and the legislature and the governor should agree to do with some of the surplus monies. The latest that's getting a lot of attention is Attorney General Bill Schuette, who's suggesting that the, the governor should focus on putting more police officers on the streets in, in Michigan to, to address the crime issue. He's asking for upwards of $140 million to, to try to, at least in a one-time fix, add 1,000 more police officers to the streets. Uh, there's also growing talk about uh, transportation funding and different uh, other different issues uh, as we move towards February 9th. And as always, uh, the school community is really focused on what the governor's plans will be for education funding. Uh, and there seems to be a, a lot of interplay dynamics between the school community, community colleges, universities, and others as to which direction the state should head as we try to sort out our education funding issues. From an early childhood standpoint, we continue to focus on the supplemental. It does look like there will be a supplemental bill passed before or right in tune with the governor's presentation on February 9th. Uh, there are two items in there that uh, th currently in the discussion that we're actually fighting for very hard around early childhood, the kindergarten entry assessment and the tiered quality rating and improvement system. If you remember, before the Christmas break, the Senate passed a supplemental bill that included funding for both of these things. It did stall in the House. It still looks like the House is somewhat hesitant to include these two things in the final supplemental that passes. Uh, Governor Schneider and his administration seem to be warming to the idea and are more supportive now than they have been in the past. But this is something that we'll keep working on and, can, and, and you can continue to tune in uh, to get the latest updates. And as always, we are continuing to try to work with the Snyder administration as well to make sure that he, can, er, er, he strives to make early childhood priority a priority and funding for quality early childhood programs a priority when he does present his budget plan to the legislature on February 9th. On another note, uh, pr many of you may have seen President Obama's State of the Union address this week. Uh, that was certainly much talked about here in Lansing. Uh, unfortunately, there wasn't a big mention about early childhood in there, but it is important to note that the, the president is also speaking tomorrow morning or Friday morning in Ann Arbor uh, specifically on some of the themes that he highlighted in his State of the Union address, and I think there will be much more of an education base to his discussion tomorrow in Ann Arbor. So hopefully we'll hear some more on his plans for, for early childhood and expansion of, of early childhood funding from the federal level. That's all we have this week. Thanks, and tune in again for another edition of Capital Corner.